David Ben-Gurion once said, if we do not stand in the Negev, we will not stand in Tel Aviv. And after October 7th, these words ring more truly now than when he uttered them. Like all universities, BGU has its centers of excellence. For example, we're a leader in diverse areas such as cybersecurity, water management, renewable energy, and autism research. So when we look at BGU, cutting edge research, check. Interdisciplinary approaches, check. Tackling global challenges, check. And all of these are incredibly important and deserving of support. But right now, today, at this critical moment in Israel's history, it is BGU's historic mandate to develop the Negev that resonates most strongly. For decades, BGU has always been the anchor institution and the primary engine for growth in the Negev. And now, added to this, we will continue to be the primary engine for the rebuild. And this is why Montreal's main event taking place on June 17th is focused on entrepreneurship because entrepreneurship is what's gonna propel the country forward. This is why the Toronto Gala in December is focused on mental health needs because our Israeli brothers and sisters are devastated people. And this is also why Vancouver's event this summer is focused on scholarships for first responders. What connects all three of these important fundraisers, entrepreneurship, mental health, first responders, is that it's less about what the BGU community needs as a university and more about what the BGU community can contribute to the broader Negev. These are all areas focused on where BGU students and faculties can and do give back. This is about our shared responsibility in the Zionist nation building effort to which we all are contributing. So I thank you for that. And I look forward to continuing to work with you as Israelis slowly but surely rebuild the Negev. Thank you.